Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. And right now, prosecutors are working to show that cell phone data proves Brian Koberger was stalking his victims. Those records put his phone near the crime scene at least 12 times before the murders. Koberger is not expected back in court again until late June. In the meantime, though, he is being held without bail. Nancy Liu is live for us in Moscow. And Nancy, this tragedy now has a lot of people focusing on personal safety and awareness. You're right, Nicole. The revelations that Brian Koberger had been watching this rental home where he allegedly killed four people raises the question of how can someone tell if they're being watched and can you be too cautious? Now that college kids are back on campuses all over the country, safety experts say heightened awareness is always a good idea. Is this your car? Cellular data and surveillance images place Brian Koberger's phone and his white Elantra near the Moscow rental home multiple times as early as last summer, months before Ethan Chapin, Zana Kernodal, Kaylee Gonsalves, and Maddie Mogan were found stabbed to death in November. My first thought when I heard of these four college students being murdered was that it was targeted, and second, that there might be a stalking related connection that one or more of the people that were targeted, you know, may have had a stalker. Chris Mohandi is a veteran police psychologist and expert on stalking. You immediately thought that white car is the key. Oh, I, I thought that they got a car on video. Um, you know, that's, that's going to be huge, huge, because you know, there's a reason they're asking for it. It's not just one video. Kaylee Gonsalves told friends and relatives that she was worried about a stalker. Her sister Olivia spoke exclusively to News Nation after Koberger's arrest. We had no idea. She had no idea. I had no idea that uh, true evil was genuinely watching them. A sealed search warrant affidavit means law enforcement has yet to reveal the digital footprints Koberger may have left. It felt very targeted. It felt, you know, that there was a very likely chance that one or several of the girls had been stalked by this individual. Stalking survivor Lenora Clare met Justin Masler in 2011 when he sought her out and showed up at her art gallery. I spoke to him for a moment. He looked me in the eyes and he said, well, you look like Jessica Rabbit and I'm going to stalk you. Very quickly, it escalated to incredibly graphic um, death, kidnap and sexual assault threats. And I absolutely began to fear for my life at that point. Masler was convicted in 2018 and sentenced to four years, but he only served two. If we're sitting at a restaurant, you better believe I'm the one facing out. Um, but it's that hypervigilance that's kept me alive all these years. According to the Stalking Awareness Research Center, about 13 and a half million people are stalked every year, up dramatically from a decade ago, and that's mainly due to social media. I do believe that social media and the internet and the virtual world has caused or contributed to an escalation in the prevalence of stalking, as well as given uh, offenders, you know, an environment they can exploit for their advantages. While the majority of stalkers are partners or acquaintances, nearly one in five are strangers. If you are getting threats or communication that makes you feel uncomfortable on social media, absolutely catalog, catalog all of it, save all of it, and don't block that individual. When in doubt, check it out, make a report, and have something on the record. And whatever you do, don't throw away the evidence you might have, whether it's a card, a note, you know, something that's captured on a security camera. All that can be important down the road. Now, due to the gag order in the Koberger case, we may not know of any connections to the victims in this case until when and if there is a trial. But from the very beginning, Moscow police had said the victims here had been targeted. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.